Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda where we have arrived at what I presume is going to be the central hub of this game. Um, it's still a little bit unfinished as you can see, but I mean we just arrived in a new galaxy so it's actually amazing that we have even this, right? And yeah, we finished our first intro mission. And like I said, I, you know, actually enjoyed that one. I was at the edge of my seat for most of the time. And it reminded me a little bit of the way that Dragon Age Inquisition started, in the way that it threw you right into the action, and within an hour or two it was established why your character is important and special. So in Inquisition you ended up with the um, anchor on your hand, and in this game you're being made Pathfinder after the intro mission. So it's the same sort of let's not waste any time, let's establish the premise of the game so we can start with the actual game sort of thing. Um, and maybe before we uh, continue here, a few thoughts on what I think, according to the comments, was ha one of the main um, points of criticism when the game was released, um, the facial animations. Um, I will say this, there is an obvious discrepancy between um, the rest of the game, which I think looks actually really nice and shiny and beautiful, and the facial animations that don't really seem up to date. Um, I mean, I think that Ryder's animations are actually okay-ish. They're not amazing, but she has like visible and readable emotional reactions. Um, but s especially some of the NPCs, they look pretty stiff. And I can see that Bioware made the game a very easy target for ridicule by releasing it as such. Because, you know, unlike other potential points of criticism like the story or the characters or the gameplay which is a bit more abstract and complex and you know it takes a long article or a long video to um, get into uh, bad facial animations is very easy to demonstrate in like a few minutes and it's very memorable and you know perfect mem material so I'm not surprised that it blew up because it's just something that can be easily shown to people that may not even have an interest in the game otherwise. So, yeah, um, if they released it like that, they really only have themselves to blame for that because, like I said, the facial animations are not up to date. Uh, we have seen much better. Actually, I would say that uh, in previous um, Bioware games, the animations have been better. Now, um, it's not a game breaker for me. I have played and enjoyed games with worse facial animations. Although these games usually had like a valid excuse, like being old or having a low budget. Obviously you can expect um, better from a game like this. But um, we will talk about this in greater detail at the end of the game. Just a few initial thoughts on that. For now I'm just going to say it is not that big of a deal for me, so um, let's just continue and see what else is going on in this place. Um, I got a few new quests. Um, this is my next main mission, Speak with Director 10, and um, there is a bunch of other people that I'm supposed to talk to. So. Let me mark this active, maybe. Okay, some of them are actually pretty close by. Um, I am very tempted to just go out and explore, but I mean, I suppose I can visit all these people and talk to them and do my exploring um, at the same time. Oh, I see, we have different um, layers here. And I guess this is like a new quest, probably. Alright, um, I would say um, we're going to speak to Director 10 first. I mean, both quests want me to do that, so... I'm going to put a waypoint here. And um, we are going to talk to that guy. Hello, Pastor. You and I are going to be very good friends. <laughs> 
we'll get you all fixed up and ready to go in no time. As soon as we hook you up to all that juicy, juicy power. <laughs> well, um, I wish you good luck with your new friend. So, okay, apparently this is where I will find Ten Guy. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Well, okay, that's good. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. <laughs> Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the score is dealt as a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're <laughs> obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here, Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish mm. the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. <laughs> Some of them pay off. Others... Okay, well, um... I suppose I'm going to accept your challenge. Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. <laughs> They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. <sighs> Ooh. Something wrong? Ryder, can you see me and Sam on the Hyperion? Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No. Okay. I'm fine. Are you just going to pop up and speak in my thoughts now, Sam? Alright, um... Yeah, I, I spoke to him once, but I think the other quest is still active, so let's just talk to him again. Ryder, you have my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. Right, you wanted to talk about that, so what exactly happened to them? Any idea where they went? Nothing certain, but tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an <laughs> unflattering light. Did you have some other business? Yeah, it paints the initiative in an unflattering light, and tens of thousands of people are missing. So, I think that's a little bit more important here. Um, yeah, tell me more about the missing arcs. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No. And that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Hmm. Okay, um... Any more info on that? Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave, but before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for hmm. some time to come. Um, of course, we would have no way of knowing if they actually left by now, right? Okay, um... It seems I can ask this guy a few questions, so let's do that. Sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you... 
It's been a disaster. <laughs> the Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, G.N. Garson, is dead. Yeah, I, I actually read that in the Codex. Um, so tell me more about that. How did Jean Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was mm. destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. That is pretty tragic. All right, tell me more about the Scourge disaster. Candor's mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. <laughs> they crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles, we called them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Well, it certainly didn't take long for the initiative to fall apart into factions again. And I find it kind of ironic that they apparently used the Krogans to put on the rebellion because, I mean, that's essentially what they did back in the Milky Way when they used the Krogans to fight the Ragnar and stuff like that. So apparently, um, people just never learn. All right, yeah, tell me more about this person. Who is this Sloane Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. Okay, and uh, what happened to the Krogan? There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. <laughs> The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved. Their muscle, nothing more. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Mm. So I see uh, history is definitely repeating itself here. And yeah, you don't really seem to like the Krogan, huh? Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, Ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. Well, maybe you should have thought about that before bringing the Krogan along. I mean, apparently they were willing to join and work together with the Solarian Centurions, so... I don't know, maybe they deserve the benefit of a doubt here, right? But if you believe that um, their tempers are not suited for this project, then they shouldn't have been included, I think. But whatever, um, tell me about the Andromeda Initiative. What more can you tell me about the Initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. Okay. Um, yeah, tell me more about the origins of the Initiative. What do you know about the early days of the Initiative? As most everyone knows, Jean Garson's vision made it happen. She was an entrepreneur on Earth. Wealthy. Young for a human. Mm. Garson had the idea for the initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered. And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. <laughs> All right. Um, I mean, this part of the game is basically where your protagonist is starting to ask a lot of stupid questions that she actually should know. I mean, she joined the initiative. Um, I would be very surprised if she, you know, didn't know about uh, its origins and purpose and stuff like that. But for gameplay reasons, I mean, these scenes are in the game to, you know, get the information to the player. Um, we had the same sort of stuff happening at the beginning of Mass Effect uh, 1, where Shepard was asking all sorts of questions about the Protheans, like, uh, tell me more about the Protheans, and what are those Prothean ruins, and stuff like that. And, I mean, she should have known, but obviously um, she had to ask because the player had to get this information. 
So I guess we are just going to uh, continue to um, go through all these options. Why do you think most people came? There are thousands of reasons. One for every colonist here. What does any pilgrim seek? Usually, happiness. Finding the thing that eludes them. The thing to fulfill them. While we cannot promise they will find it, we can facilitate the search. Alright, and, and tell me more about the alien species here. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan <laughs> into the mix. As a Solarian, my kind tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. Mm, yeah, but I mean, you seem to be part of the problem, to be honest. Um, okay, I ask all of that. Right, tell me more about your role here. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. Okay, so we have some sort of gridlock. So how does anything get done? In theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other <laughs> until a decision is made. If we're lucky. It is maddening. <laughs> I'm so sorry for you. So, um, why do they doubt you? What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management, then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. Seven leaders above you? Okay. Well, yeah, you do kind of seem like a bureaucrat to me. So, you're an accountant? Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. <laughs> well, he does have a point there. I mean, he joined the initiative one way or the other, so I guess he's more than just an accountant. And finally, tell me about planet viability. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. People like a roof over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on sight can be <laughs> discouraging. Yeah. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. Um, what are forward stations? What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. <laughs> it's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. <laughs> okay, great. Again, I feel that, you know, if she was you know, assigned to the Pathfinder team, even before going into stasis. She was probably briefed on stuff like this, but I understand that this is here for the benefit of the player and, and not really for um, Ryder. Okay, I ask all the stuff, so goodbye. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm happy to help. You will find our futures depend on each other's success. Good luck. All right, thank you. Okay, I um, spoke to that guy. I have more people to talk to. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything going on here. So, let's find someone else to talk to. Um, I'm not exactly sure where to... Ooh! What's going on here? Um, do you need assistance? Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. 
Stuff exploding like this happen often? <laughs> Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. Um, care to explain that? What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. <laughs> yeah. And now I have more repairs. And did you report this? Did you talk to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing <laughs> this. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait, that's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. <laughs> you weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. Um, yeah, sure. I'll do it. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omni tool. Just send me the data when you're done. Okay. Engineer no, 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 in trouble. No, Station sabotage. Yeah, I know, I don't know. It, it just blew up. Um. Why? Let me have a look. Where exactly is this? Oh, it's all over the place. So I guess I'm just going to do this while I go around and talk to people. I mean, this one is apparently where I just came from, so maybe I should do this before I move on. But yeah, it's beginning, it's beginning. People asking for my help, randomly. All personnel, be aware of any I see, there is something over here. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Okay. Oh, I need to follow the um, line over here. Okay, let's do this. Yes, it's going to continue over here. Uh huh. And um, I'm going to suppose that it's somewhere upstairs, huh? Let's have a look over here. Uh huh. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Okay, so um, this is not conclusive so far. And I don't actually need to do anything with it. Um, but I think one of the other people I need to talk to is here as well, right? Edison. So maybe let's talk to no, it isn't her. Important. Yes, right, it's this person. I, I remember her. How the hell should I know? Spender, you have a job. If you want to keep it, do it. <laughs> God damn it. I was under the impression that maybe she doesn't like me, but she doesn't really seem to like the other people here either. So maybe that's just her attitude. All right, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father? <laughs> Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now I just want to know what happened with Alec. Um, yeah, it... Seems like he wanted me to be the next Pathfinder. In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role, eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. Yeah, I I can see why you would be skeptical about it. However, um, from the little, you know, interaction that I had with Alec Ryder, he doesn't seem like someone who would give this position to her just because um, she's um, his daughter. 
So I guess he must have seen some potential in her. Um, and I hope I can live up to that. Okay, again, we have a bunch of questions to ask, so let's do that. Um, tell me about your position here. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy can pull me away. And here we are, idling. Okay, well, um, apparently you knew my father, huh? You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends, or...? I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. So, uh, essentially, neither of us uh, actually deserve that title, right? <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, what about these hostile aliens? There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack, they disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Mm. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Talk All to right. Kandros if you haven't. He's unfortunately become the head of our military. And as soon as he realizes it, we're in the shit. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. Hm. We came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. Yeah, it seems to me that you already failed in that regard. But yes, I'm going to talk to Kandros as well. Alright, um, yeah, what about the strange tech we found on that planet? There's also the strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here... thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. Okay, and finally tell me about the outposts. You've had no colony successes in over a year? How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. Mm. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseship. <laughs> Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. Alright, alright. Um, I see you still don't like me, but I can understand why you would be um, skeptical about my abilities. So, I guess I'll be going now. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. <coughs> Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. Yes, I will. I hope. I'm going to try to prove myself. Okay, so we spoke to Edison. Um, and there are more people we want to talk to. And um, let me s uh, switch back to that other quest. Oh, I suddenly got a bunch of... New quest. Missing arcs. Right. This is what I talked about with 10. Station sabotage. Okay, this is the one that I want to do while looking around. Okay, we have another um, panel somewhere over here. It's below me. Um Oh okay, I I see it now. Oh, 
Alright. Let's get out that scanner. Um, this is not it. Oh, I see. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Okay, so where is the wiring? Um, it seems to, uh, vanish somewhere over there. Uh-huh. But again, I think it's uh, leading upstairs, so... Let's see if we can find out more up here. Ah, there we go. And we found another panel. Scanning. This panel has been tampered with. Send the data to Raj. Yes, Pathfinder. Can you maybe get out of my personal bubble, lady? <laughs> okay, um... I, I need to get away from this spot, apparently. And again, I think... Yes, we have another person to talk to. So... Let's do it. Oh right, this is the Krogan that we met earlier. I take this stuff. I to snoop around a little bit. Same shit, different day. For posterity, in case the initiative goes belly up. The Nexus is a four-ring circus. Don't like how Ten operates and his disdain for the Krogan is obvious. I believe his intentions are ultimately good, but he's an opportunist who's likely to create dissent. I don't see the Nexus coming together if he's left unchecked. It's already polarizing Edison. She's taking the cue to circle the wagons. I think I can talk to Candace about this and at least try to get the two of us more coordinated. Or maybe not. Seriously, I hate this kind of drama. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can, I can sympathize with that. Engine right, um, let's talk to power. Cash. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. Okay, um, I have questions. I noticed there aren't a lot of Krogan around. Tan, ask him why most of my people mm. left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return, get more say in the initiative. Yeah, um, that didn't work out, did it? Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found <laughs> out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. Alright, but um, why are you still here? With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. Well, that is rather cryptic, but okay. So, um, tell me more about the problems around here. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they <laughs> left. And to top it all off, the founder of the Initiative, Gian Garson, was killed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tell me more about that. What happened to Jean Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Tan might know more. Yep, he does. Um, and any other problems? And I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according mm. to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get material soon, things will go downhill. Fast. Alright, I guess this is going to be um, my task then. Right, um, tell me about the genophage. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the genophage. Right, the genophage. 
a little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. Um, yeah, tell me about the Solarian involvement. No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. That is a very good attitude. So, um, no chance of finding a cure? What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you use those 600 years to your advantage. Give the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%. <laughs> which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. I mean, the irony is that back in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard actually cured the genophage, but I'm, I'm glad to hear that you're doing better too. So what exactly is your job here? What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. Okay, that's straightforward enough. Nothing more for now. Try not to die out there. <laughs> um, thank you. I... I will try to. So, we spoken to Cash, and I guess that's actually a female Krogan, right? I mean, it's kind of hard to tell from the looks, but the voice sounds female. Um... So we have another person to talk to over there, and um, another panel to scan over here. So maybe we can do this um, before we end this episode, and I think we will have done some good progress here then. This is a nightmare. Um, and yeah, apparently there is a new quest too. But I'm, I'm going to look at that later. Let's talk to Kendris first. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? <laughs> you get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results, though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the <laughs> Tyrian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. Alright, um, I may need to take you up on that offer. Okay, again, let's ask all the questions. What brought you out here to Andromeda? I was tired of being the good one. <laughs> the good one? The Kandros family is old military. There were expectations, you know? Then my sister became a sculptor, and cousin Irene went pirate Ooh. on Omega. Everyone was proud that I stayed in service. But I kept wondering, when do I get my adventure? Jen Garson's dream was so grand, so gutsy, I had to be part of it. Yeah, I actually thought the name Kendra seemed familiar, but I didn't make that connection. So, he's related to Nyrene from the um, Omega DLC. Well, that's interesting. Okay, tell me more about your role here. You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those cat found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to war in the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. <laughs> the militia grew from there. Funny. Once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. I see. I see. So, how are the Turians doing? Are the other Turians managing okay? 
So-so. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. Mm. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. I understand that. Um, yeah, any info on the cat? What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The cat. We usually see them on worlds with those alien structures. The cat don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from mm. the Nexus. All right, fair enough. And tell me about your militia. It's rough out there. I might need backup if you can spare the people. I have strike teams specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. Okay. Um, well, thanks. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. <laughs> Okay, um, speak with a distraught Turian. Speak with a scientist. Okay, so I have um, a few more people to talk to. And yeah, this is a new quest. And over there we have the panel. But what exactly is this? Strike team missions. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Kandros for authorization to participate. Um, I just talked to you. That's the console for our strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex, combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. Um... And for what exactly? What situations should they handle? Protecting civilian outposts, holding key positions, or just distracting the cat. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. Uh huh. Inspect available strike team missions. Okay. So, what exactly does this do? Strike teams. Strike teams can be sent on missions to support the Andromeda Initiative. If they succeed, they'll earn XP and Ryder will gain a reward. If they fail, they'll earn only a small amount of XP and no special reward. Apex is the most elite strike team in the cluster and handle critical missions. Select a mission and press space to send Apex. Your progress will be automatically saved before multiplayer is launched. You will then play the role of an Apex operative in a small squad. Play Apex missions in multiplayer either with friends or through public matchmaking to earn strike team rewards for Rider and additional bonuses. Okay, so this is some um, multiplayer tie-in. Well, I'm probably not going to bother with any multiplayer stuff. Um, but I don't know, let's have a look at this. These missions are currently available for your strike team. Select a mission with space to send a strike team. Check back daily for new available missions. This icon describes the difficulty of the mission. Read the description for each mission, the time limit to attempt the mission, the reward for successfully completing the mission, and any mission traits or properties. Okay. Acquire enemy research select to complete in multiplayer or to assign a strike team um i mean the difficulty seems to be the same for all of them 70 percent chance of success and it takes i don't know about an hour this is also 70 percent Would you like to play this Apex mission in multiplayer or send a strike team? Um, no, I don't. I don't want to do any multiplayer. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to assume that this is a little bit like the war table, like I can send these teams on missions and 
they will do the stuff in the background and I can check back a few hours later and they will give me some rewards, right? So, I don't know, I, I guess I'm just going to send out the team on this mission, I mean they all have the same chance of success. And this one actually takes the longest and since I'm about to end the episode, this may be a good time to start this one. Because I'm going to assume that this is, uh, you know, going on even when I quit the game, just like the war table. So, in progress, there we go. We have uh, sent a strike team. So, let's see what's happening once we're done with this. There we go, complete, first strike. Okay, um, so I need to remember to check back here every now and then. And I suppose I'm going to talk to this, this is a nightmare. lady over here before we finish this episode. Let's see it's what's going not on. Right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband... He's locked up and slated for exile, for a crime he didn't commit. Okay, and what exactly has he been accused of? What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe <laughs> this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have... There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. <laughs> His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. Um, yes, of course. This is an RPG. Of course I'm going to help all the people and uh, take care of every little problem around. So, sure. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Nilkin I love him. <laughs> Okay, first murderer. Speak with a prison guard. Alright, it seems like we are collecting our first side quests here. Um, I, I guess I'm going to end the episode here because uh, it's long enough. We will continue with the stuff in the next episode, talk to the remaining people, um, finish the side quests hopefully, and then we'll see what we're going to do next. So, as usual, thank you for watching and see you again next time.